Welcome to support videos for digital business automation. This video will demonstrate how to troubleshoot WA client and configuration manager connectivity issues. We'll look at some OS commands and some utilities that we frequently use. Let's go ahead and run the configuration manager. You can see straight away here we get a Corbett initialization error. This tells us that we can't connect to naming service. So let's take a look at how we can check the host name and the port first of all to make sure that they're correct. So we just dismiss that and then we go to advanced here. You can see we've got the host name and below it the port which is running 13075 which is a default port for the naming service. So let's close this. Uh, there's not much else we can do here. We'll try the WLA client. So just let it run for a second and then we'll enter the password and try to log in, see what we get. All right, and uh, we also can't connect to the naming server here, 13075. Not unexpected since we couldn't with the configuration manager. We can see the port is listed there again and we're not able to reach any GUI servers. So let's just close this out and open up the PowerShell prompt so that we can troubleshoot this. So normally a, a good way to make a connection or to test a connection to the Enterprise Manager would be to use Telnet. In this case, it's not installed on this system. So we have a few other tools that we can use. So let's just clear the screen here and take a look. The first one, fairly standard ping to make sure the machine's up and responding. And that looks good. We'll also do an NS lookup and then we can compare the IP addresses between the NS lookup and the ping, make sure they're the same. In this case, they are. What we'll do next is make a TCP connection using PowerShell. So we'll see the command right here, and we're basically creating a TCP client object, giving it the host name and the port we want to connect to, and running it. And you can see here that it actually failed, which means that we can't connect to that host on 13075. So at this point, you would go to your administration team, let them know that you need to be able to reach the enterprise manager on that port, and you can't do that. Once they've resolved the issue, you can rerun it, and as you see here, this is what a successful connection looks like. So now we can reach our enterprise manager on port 13075. Let's go ahead and try running our applications again and see if we're able to log in. First with the configuration manager, We'll enter the password. This time we see the server field is populated. We get a different message this time though. We do see it gives us more detail. It tells us we can't connect to the configuration management server on port 57746. So this is another port that we need to have unblocked. So let's go ahead and click OK here and we can validate this. So we rerun it with 57746, and just as before, we see the error message. Now, once your administration team has resolved that, we should be able to connect. We can do a similar thing with the client. So let's enter our password, try to log in again, and we see it tells us it's trying to connect to the server. It's actually connecting to the GUI server this time, so it's a different port and we can actually look that up on the enterprise manager so it's telling us to log in failed so we'll just go ahead and close this now the orb admin utility can be used to check the port numbers that the components are registered on so we'll go ahead and run that So we'll use orb admin ns list. And we see here it gives us all of the registered components on the enterprise manager. And we see the fourth one down, GSR, that's the GUI server that we're looking for. And we see port 57769. So that's another port we need to test. Note that orb admin can also be run from the client system. And we can go ahead and run our connection test again and we see that this fails also 
So once these are resolved, we'll be able to make the connection again successfully. And there's the configuration management server. And now we we'll try the GUI server. And we can connect. So at this point, we would expect that we can connect to both the configuration manager and the WLA client. And there's the client successfully connecting. So let's close that and we'll try the WLA client. And we see that the server field is populated this time. And at the same place, it continues to load. So it looks like we're going to be able to successfully connect this time. Note that you may want to set a port range for the Enterprise Manager components. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please see our YouTube channel for more videos like this.